there's a lot of Christmas like trees in this world, right? Can be very difficult to tell them apart. I'm gonna give you a little trick right here and now. Pine needles are long, generally long. Spruce needles kind of almost look like mint stems. They have four corners, so you can spin them in between your fingers, right? If you can spin it, it's probably a spruce. If you can't spin it, it'll be flat. It's a fir. So now you just learned all about conifers. Long needles, pine. Short needles that kind of look like pipe cleaners at first glance could either be spruce or fir, and then you do the test. It spins, it's a spruce. It doesn't spin, it's a fir. So this is your test over here. Come over here. We're gonna do this at least three times while we're in the park. Grab a needle. I know it's kind of cheating because that pro branch probably fell off this tree, but what kind of tree is this? This is a party trick right here. Next time you're hiking with your friends, just say, guess what? This is a spruce. All evergreens have edible properties. They actually also concentrate vitamin C. Uh, they're really good for respiratory stuff. So if you have any sort of cough or phlegm going on, uh, the best thing to do for that is to make a tea from the needles. So you basically get a pot, throw a bunch of needles in there, and then heat it up, boil it for like two minutes, then let it cool so that it's drinkable, and pour yourself a nice little glass of pine needle tea. Kind of has a Christmassy vibe to it, but it has a really nice lemony characteristic. And it's a great thing to do when you're camping. Like if you want to engage your kids or your friends or your partners, next time you go camping, this is Sergey's homework number two, just harvest some either spruce or pine or fir and make some trail side tea for yourself. The, you can eat the spruce tips and, and you actually beat me to the punch. There's a tree that has them, but that's, um, that's, I'm glad that you pointed that out. Uh, the only caution on evergreens is if you're pregnant or nursing, you, you want to avoid them because there's something that um, small kids and fetuses don't like. So if you're pregnant, avoid that. Otherwise, they're completely edible and beneficial. What kind of tree is this? How do we know? Long needles. Long needles. A fun fact about pines. Uh, this is this ruined my surprise. So another way to identify pines is they always either have two or five needles. So they're going to be long and then they're either gonna have two or five needles. And again, you can make tea from these needles, uh, just boil these down. But what I'm here to look at today is this. That's pine pollen. So if you're allergic to pollen, probably not the best edible for you. But if you're not allergic to pollen, this is pure protein. This is amino acids. So how you would harvest this is you put a plastic bag over this and you just shake. Or you can literally just take these and just eat them or throw them in a smoothie or a soup. You know, if you're making like some pizza, you could put some of that in the dough, get creative. And that stuff's really nutritious. What kind of tree is this? What kind of tree is this? How do we know? Flat needles, it's a fir. Okay, on we go. Boys and girls, what kind of tree is this? How do we know? Okay, who thinks spruce? Raise your hand. Who thinks fir? Okay, you're right, it's a fir. Okay, on this one, let's also point out the bright little green tips. 
Who was talking about those earlier? You were. So these are awesome eaten. These are like the springtime green tips and they taste like lemon. Yeah. So these parts you throw straight into salads. They concentrate vitamin C. They're good for your respiratory. They get phlegm out of your system. You can pickle them. So in the springtime, now I'd come through here with a little bowl and I'd just start taking them. And before long, I'd have enough to really make a meal of, you know? You can also use these in tea, but they're not quite, th these are the meristematic bits of the fur. So they're not gonna be as fragrant. I think for tea, you use the more mature ones. And then for eating for salads, you use the more nutritious, more delicious bits, which is the meristematic bits. Okay, what kind of tree is this? Spruce. Who said spruce? I'm gonna pick on you. Come over here. Grab a needle. And this is actually a good example. So the last pine had two needles. This pine has five needles. Count them up. Again, you have your tender little seed heads. These are great in salads. But long needles, either two or five equals pine. 